Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Friday. We are on our way to the beach now. We're going to Holden Beach, North Carolina. Um, we do. Yeah, it is pouring down rain, but we do plan on trying to bring you guys along for it. What we do, we have a bunch of things planned this weekend. Um, but so far, we are about two hours out. Um, I could not film before now because we didn't have any light. So anyway, um, everybody's had breakfast, the dog is doing good, and we are beach bound, and we will catch you when we get down there. We are having to make a pit stop real quick to the local, we're gonna go to Walmart, right, you said? Not like an auto zone. Okay, so the other day when our uh, alarm was going off in the camper, it um, was actually the batteries right the yeah the battery calls the alarm to go off yeah so the battery is completely dead for our camper it's seven years old so it, yeah it yeah so it, like he's just caleb just said it is old so we have to run by we're trying to get a walmart before we get to where we're going so we can go ahead and get it hooked up and get it charging all right everybody we have um switched over the battery that was a good transition um, it was raining. Poor Caleb. He got soaked, um, even with his rain jacket I'm going to give you kind of a preview of our little camp setup here. Um, so, hold tight. Either way, we have a little fire happening, and then we have our camping kitchen right here. This is our yeah, camping kitchen. And um, that's it. And, look, look. and that's our chicken. That's part of our dinner. So at this campground, you cannot have a clothesline. So we're having to use our awning right now to do it. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is our setup. And if anybody's ever in the need of a fold up rocker, this is the perfect one. It came from Academy. Oh no, I gotta pick that one up. And this is it. This is our camper. This is it. All right. No, so we um <clears throat> we got here. We got unpacked fairly quickly, actually. <clears throat> Trenton helped me out a lot. Yes. Showed him how to do some of the stuff. Oh yeah, he, he was gave a up good helper. About halfway through. But he did good. He did all right. Because I was tired. From the drive. Hold on, Lila. Oh, uh, he was tired from a four-hour drive. He got up early. He slept half the way, but he was still tired. Excuse me. Um, no, so we got here and we had lunch and got a recharge. After we got everything done, we uh, took Millie and the kids and went down to the, the uh, beach. To the beach. And I don't know when the last time Trenton went. But okay, so Lila was a, turning four and Trenton had, had just a, turned six. Three years ago. Yeah, you're right. Trenton yeah. had a lot of fun. I know he did. Uh, Lila. I think she enjoyed herself, but Scared she didn't the water. like she didn't like the water so much. The the dog is freakishly scared of the water. And guys, we have a campfire, and that's the smoke going in front of my obviously but, uh, my camera here. The dog definitely did like laying on the beach and getting mm -hmm. sand all over her and everybody else. Yeah, the funny I think the kids did too. Go ahead, Trent. Funny story. Do not try to chase. Seagulls. seagulls. Yeah, Trenton no. tried to chase seagulls. Crazy well, kiddo. Fun. He's we threw the fun. frisbee a little bit. Then we come back here and uh, have some grilled chicken. Mm hmm And some... Uh, orzo pasta. Orzo pasta. I don't have a recipe, guys. Like I said, it's orzo, black olives, Parmesan garlic, wing sauce, Millie's bacon bits, and right that was it. It was the easiest you thing you could ever... Dog. Yeah, she's been in it the whole time. Oh, okay. Um, it was super simple. That is our night, and we are about to roast some marshmallows or yeah, make s'mores. And then they're going to go to bed because they are exhausted. They played in the ocean for a long the while. started getting cranky. Yeah, that's how bad. Yeah. And like I've said on the earlier video, like, I think they brought back more sand and hardly any was left. <laughs> so, anyway.
yeah, so that is Lila showing you how I make the bed and the dog yeah, and everything yeah, else. So, hurts. yes, yo, she got hurt. Yo, it, Can you it show really me a wasn't that serious. Just, the, just one bit. <laughs> this is the bed. <laughs> so, our pop out sides are kind of the same as like tent material. Yeah. They have canvas zipper windows. And I need canvas. to, anybody watching this that has any insight on how I can clean the canvas. That's what I need to do next. And then oh, here's little, the curtain that pulls started. across if we wanted to do so. We pull these across during the day to keep the heat out of here. And then we just have the wall over here. This is actually, oh, watch out, baby girl. Oh, hold on. This is actually like the bathroom um, See, wall. This is poor. No, baby, that's the wind. That's yeah, rain. so you can hear that, and that's, that's um, wind. Baby, it's not supposed to rain tonight. It's just wind, honey. So, guys, baby, comment down below. Oh, oh lordy. We are not done yet. We're not done yet. She is jumping the gun, y'all. Just so, mind, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell. Oh, she's so funny. Y'all can see the camper. And notice. That's the camper behind put, us. We did put. So, the, yes, the bathroom the door is open. Um, yeah. And then here's here's the hubby watching TV and the dog. Yes, and I hung my lights up here. I know is that not crazy? But I could not get them. We couldn't hang them up on our awning because the way our own awning is made. Look at the dog. She's so tired. Poor Mew Mew. She usually will kick the blankets off or move or something. There was a dog barking just a minute ago. She didn't even flinch. No, she's done. She's done. And then you have my son. He is playing some games on his computer, and that's the kids' beds. For whatever reason, that bed is oh, so I'm much easier to make. Thing. Make, And I think it's because it doesn't have that wall. Yes, yeah, sweet girl, we have to leave this open, or else it will get... What is it? What happens? Condensation. Condensation. So we have to leave that open. So right now it's not super organized. Um, flip it me, flip it so right here we have a ton of shoes. What I would essentially like to do is make a shoe rack right here, which hubby can do that. So anyways, we're gonna call it a night. We're gonna um, kind of clean up a little bit. I did the dishes already. So now, um, yeah, we're just gonna call it a night. Good morning, everybody. It is officially Saturday morning. Um, we woke up and it is a really chilly. Um, it is really cold. Um, I don't know. It's got to be in the 50s right now. So we're kind of just hanging out at the camper. Caleb's cooking breakfast. We're all just relaxing. I'm drinking a cup of coffee. And I'm actually looking for a 2021 planner. So that is how our morning is going. We've already watched some cartoons. The kids are playing on their electronics, just kind of relaxing. Lila's plan is to kind of take the kids and the dog and we're gonna go out and about. It's gonna be too chilly to go to the beach today. Um, so we're not gonna do that. But, I mean, we might walk on it, but we can't play in the water. It's going to be too, it's going to be in the 60s today. Um, <clears throat> so, guys, how was your first night staying in the camper? It was good, right? Yeah. It was good. And um, they did say they got a little chilly last night, which, honestly, the just wind. just a little chilly, just a lot chilly. The wind really picked up once we went to sleep. I think it was around 1130. It was really was loud. Eight. Honey, you keep shaking the table. It's shaking my eight. camera. 13. At 11 30 the rent, the wind really picked up and it was super super windy and that's when you can really feel the chill in the air um millie did pretty good last night um to be out of her element she did pretty good and then currently it's still just as windy um and it's in this cold out there so caleb said you can come outside and help me i was like i'm okay I'm gonna stay in the camper for a little bit. Okay, guys, we are officially on the road now. We are headed to a lighthouse. Yes, okay. So, yeah, so we're gonna go to three different attractions. Um, these are more so the outdoor attractions. We do have other things planned after that. However, they're not kind of in the same category as attractions. So that's what we're gonna get it done. We're gonna go ahead, the weather is absolutely gorgeous here. It is reading at 57 degrees right now and it's sunny, it's beautiful. Um, they have on their hoodies and their 
pants and that I mean thank you baby they are um kind of bundled up a little bit um i have on a real quick i have on a lightweight sweater um i've had for ages i actually got this from a birth for a birthday present from i believe it was this one a girl worked with and then um a little loose fitting t-shirt and a pair of jeans and then my kids i don't know that you can see that but anyway that's what we're doing right now we're headed out and the drive's not bad. It's reading that it's about 41 minutes away, so about 29 miles is saying. Um, so yeah, we will be back and have some fun things to show you then. try to show you guys the ocean as well when we go down here um oh we have a little boy yawning back there they slept good last night so okay story time with Ann because that's what we do <laughs> yo we did a party foul vacation foul so last night we were like okay guys let's all go to bed let's time get woo, we had s'mores let's go to bed y'all okay hold on teabag hold on baby so Caleb and I you know we had already put the kids to bed and we're laying in bed and we're reading and Caleb's like, what time is it? It's like 11 o'clock. No, what did you say? Yeah, it says like, yeah it's like 11 o'clock. I was like, well, last I checked, it was like 7.43. And he was like, because yeah, it's probably. The reason I asked was because the guys next to us were making not a lot of noise, but enough noise to yeah, keep the kids away. They were getting going. Well, they so, had just gotten there. You know, they were eating yeah. dinner and stuff. Y'all, we looked at the phone and it was 9 o'clock. We put those babies to bed at 8.15 thinking that it was like 10 o'clock. Oh gosh, but they slept. Like yeah. They went to bed. Hold on, baby. They went to bed at 8.30 and they slept until probably 7.30. So they were tired. Yeah. And they got up about 5.30. So they, I mean, I guess it was worth it. But it was hilarious. Um, we didn't realize what time it was. We thought it was so late because we had been up all, like so early. But no, BK foul. We let the kids go to bed at hey, 8 o'clock. Definite must if you're in the area <clears throat> of Southport and this is Oak Island. It's just Caswell Beach on Oak Island. Yeah, so definitely worth it. Um, it's absolutely such a beautiful place, and I hate that um, we couldn't go inside of it. But it was really cool though. They had a lot of little educational, excuse me, little plaques set out so you could read along the way. Um, but yeah, so. We're just going to continue this day, and that was probably our quickest trip of them all. Oh, yeah. Because we couldn't get inside, but we still wanted to show the kids the lighthouse. So, we will be back when we get to destination number two. Officially in Curry Beach. Curry Beach. So hard for me to say that. Curry Beach, North Carolina. We um, are almost at our second destination. So guys, this is a cute little town. It's, it's adorable. Actually, it I'm gonna turn you guys around. It's adorable little town. We 
are officially at Fort Fisher, North Carolina. And I don't know if I have mentioned it or not. What's your arm, baby? Um, I, oh, they're in my pocketbook, sorry. Our kids have passports for every state park in our state. I'm trying to get them out. Right. Okay, so as I was saying, each kid has something called a North Carolina State Park Passport book. And just kind of a little quick glimpse, like you can get stamps for every state park that you go to in North Carolina. And after so many, you get kind of like a little prize. So obviously we're gonna do Carolina Beach State Park because, um, oh wait, I'm sorry. We're at Fort Fisher, my bad y'all. Um, Mm -hmm. So, right here. I do apologize, y'all. Um, right there. So, our kids will get a stamp today for this. And then we also get to walk through all the interesting cool sites. We've already passed a couple cool sites with, like, cannons and things of that. Just a bunch of history. Uh, military history. And our kids love that. Oh, well, like blast the bomb with it. Oh yeah, the cannon, baby. Oh, yeah. So, um we are going to be doing that now. Um after Sorry. we get No, you're fine, baby. So, we're going to run in here and get these stamped, go through the visitor center real quick, and then once we actually start going to some of the little military attractions, we'll bring you right along with us. And um hopefully you'll enjoy that portion of the video. <music> walking over toward this monument now we've already had a lot of fun on the rocks and like I said if you can see over that that ocean is beautiful guys I was, I was asking Caleb what the rocks were used for back when this was an active um, area and he said it was a barrier for when they were attacked to, I guess to slow people down which is really awesome so yeah, this is our walk. You can see Caleb and Trenton ahead with the dog. Um, I don't know what that green thing is, but I think it's, yeah. we'll go look at it. But this is it. And I'm sorry for the wind. It is so loud. Yo, it's just absolutely beautiful through here. All right, everybody. We are at the actual Fort Fisher base. Fort Fisher, well, the old base. Old base. base. Yeah, the war base. So those are all old barracks. Yeah. yeah. So, what we're going to do, we're trying to find a place to park. Um, and then we will walk through and kind of show you everything that they have. Um, again, I can't say it enough. If anybody is looking for a vacation that is close to North Carolina um, coast, North Carolina coast is going to be to be the way to go. You can get in your education on the historical sites and your scenic sites, and I mean, you can a lot of history. Yeah, a lot of history, and it's great. And our kids are having so much fun. So for right now, um, we are going to run inside here and go through and start showing you some of the sites. historic and educational and our kids really do love history so this is the perfect day to do it and the perfect place to do it it is so amazing it's absolutely gorgeous and the fact that caleb knows so much about it it definitely helps um it definitely helps um teach the kids so we are just going to keep on walking
everybody. We are at Carolina Beach State Park now. So, this is what it looks like. Sorry, that was a lot of moving. But again, I'm not gonna, yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna roll the window down because it's a little breezy. But it is 70 degrees now. Campground. It is Ooh. not that chilly. Yeah, and they have a campground here too. So any RVers out there, now I don't know if they are full hookups or no hookups. I don't know what it is. Um, once we get in here, we'll probably do our research since we do have a camper and um, figure it out ourselves. There is the visitor center. That's a nice visitor center. Want to eat in the truck and go in there? Into the inside the campground to kind of show everybody. Okay, so, so far, Carolina Beach State Park is great. Um, their camp, their campground looks great. I did not see a bathhouse. There was one in there. There was a bathhouse. Okay, it might not have been on my side. Um, I was filming, so. Well, it's just a little bitty mm -hmm. sign. Yeah. So, that campground is super adorable. <laughs> now, again, with your state park campgrounds, I'm going to roll the window up just a smidge. It's a little chilly. Um, you are not going to get the pool and the activities that you would get at a KOA or Jellystone or a mom and pop type campground that has other amenities and things for kids to do. State Parks is gonna be more outside, so you are gonna go to the beach for the day or take a trail walk or hike, depending on where you're at. Or go to the swamp. Go to the swamp. <laughs> go to the swamp. You're not gonna go to the swamp. There's a swamp right there. But you're gonna, you're gonna do more outside activities versus a pool and things of that nature. So make sure you love nature before you go to, that's the picnic area, before you go to a state park and camp. Because if you have kids and they are, you feel like they are gonna be bored because there's not a pool or anything, don't waste your time or your money. I don't wanna tell you to do it and you might ruin your vacation. Now, on the other hand, if you're at the beach and do it, you can go to the you can go to the beach. You can pack up for the day and go to the beach. Okay, as I was saying, if you go to a state park that has like a local beach around it or mountains where you can go hiking and get out of the campground, that's the way to go. Um, in the state park, y'all, and plus you're helping the park. You're helping keep the park up, and that's really what you want to do for the future of our kids. Like, stay at a place that you can do that. Now, I don't, I didn't know that there was a campground in this place, or we may have done that. I don't know. Well, now, but now, look, this place was booked. Was it full? I, I will tell you as well, state parks fill up quickly because the rates are so cheap. They fill up super quick. Now, the place that we're staying, Holden Beach RV um, Campground, I think is what it's called. I'll, I'll put, sure, I'll put all that in the description box below their rates are cheap $35 a night and again same thing we don't have a pool either but um super super nice place yeah the ocean is two miles away and we've made a day trip today but you have to keep an eye on your weather and things like that so you can plan accordingly to to what your kids may like or not like okay hold on we okay lala currently is on my shoulders i want to tell you something we see this car that has like a thousand stickers. Stickers on it. And Lala has the hiccups right now. Yeah, but she is currently on my shoulders. I just felt like maybe she didn't need to walk. But we're walking down here to the waterway. Oh, Lala, that's my ear. We don't play in my ear. Um, she's holding my hair out of my eyes. But um, anyway, you know, this is a beautiful park. It's absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, I see it now. You can rent bikes and, and um, it says canoes and kayaks and looks like um crud i just lost my train of thought um what are the boards hey what are the boards caleb that you can stand on huh? the boards that people use in lake norman oh um you lost your train of thought too huh paddle boards, paddle boards yes paddle boards. so yeah you can rent paddle boards and um, we're about to go out on this dock it does not look sturdy we're not going on the dock. we are not going on the dock but anyway, there, thank you guys. This looks beautiful. 
Mommy. We're gonna turn you around. All right, y'all. So this is the way this mom is rolling right now. So, yeah. I don't know where my husband's taking me. Step up. Do not feed the alligators. Why are we going down here? I don't, I don't feel comfortable. Oh, there's a son that says, do not feed alligators. He's talking about, let's walk down there. Let's walk down there? This says, do not feed alligators. We do not get near that. We do not get near no. alligators. We are walking down a trail by the name of Sugarloaf. Okay, we are back in the truck now, and um, ouch, we are headed back to the camper to rest for a little bit, and then we are going to go back out and do um, a couple more things, but right now we have two tired kids that we are going to try to get them to rest real quick, and um, once we get back to the camper, we will pick you guys back up. are headed to Calabash, North Carolina, right? I thought it was Calabash. Yeah. Calabash Trail? Yeah, we're going to Calabash. Yes, yeah, so we are going to go have us a nice seafood dinner. Um, the two kiddos in the back, they, I'm, what I'm going to order, they will eat. I'm going to let them try it, but of course we will order them something different. Um, but yeah, this, well, this is one of those. I think we ought to get them some fried oysters. Laudy beige, y'all. Um, so, yeah, so we always, um, whenever we go to any North Carolina beach that's close, or even South Carolina beach, um, yeah, I would say an hour we always go. And, y'all, I'm so sorry about the sun. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, we always go to Calabash and we go to this certain seafood restaurant, and we always go to Callahan's, which Callahan slash like the Christmas store. I will definitely try to film in that store because anybody that is visiting the coast of North Carolina, you have to go to this store because when I say they sell about any and everything that you could think of, it's definitely a tourist attraction, don't you think? It is a must to go in. Um, I could stay on here and tell you everything that they carry, but I will show you. Yes. Yeah, so I will show you instead. Um, so it is, um, it's just one of those things that is, we have to do that, don't we? It's like tradition. Oh, yeah. We always do seafood and then go to that, um, that store afterwards. All right, everybody, this is our view outside the restaurant. This is, so we're sitting outside tonight. I know, it's so beautiful, guys. Uh, so, guess what? everybody Calabash dinner seafood. was great obviously um, the, I <laughs> Trenton oh, had Trenton's yeah, kids plate off the kids menu it was bigger than ours it was bigger than ours and cost way less than ours but um, he enjoyed every bit of it he was introduced for the first time to um, cocktail sauce and tartar <laughs> sauce and he loved uh, both Calabash cocktail sauce yeah and it was their Real sauce is really warm sauce. Lila was going to get a hamburger and change her mind when she had hush puppies and just got to order her hush puppies <laughs> um, which I'm fine with it, we're on vacation if we were anywhere else I'd make her have some protein but I'm not going to do it here but I ordered the shrimp and devil crab Caleb had um, flounder clams and shrimp yeah and it was so good it was yummy um, Trenton had shrimp and flounder Flounder and not so much fries. But guys, yeah. if you're a hardcore seafood people, seafish, seafood, seafood eater, yeah. go there. Go to Nance's. Oh. Nance's in Calabash. Oh my gosh. 
So this door has definitely picked up. So we are now at Callahan's. Um, I will try to snap a picture of the storefront uh, or the sign. That way, if you ever come down here, you will know. Just, it's, it's amazing, guys. It's amazing. They have a Christmas store, a t-shirt store, knickknack store, everywhere. Guys, I'll bring you inside with us. Okay, now we're headed back to the camper. So we're gonna see if the ice cream shop's open. It's kind of hit or miss if we're gonna go back and get ice cream or go back to the camper. So we'll see what time it is when we get back closer to where we're staying to make that decision. Okay, everybody. So me and the kiddos are in the truck. Caleb is officially um, about to hook us up. He's getting all the leveling blocks and the chalks from the wheels and everything so we're just gonna hang out in the truck for just a little bit normally it wouldn't take us this long but um we were helping the neighbor because this is her first camping trip and she is by herself and she just bought a brand new camper and a brand new truck and she wasn't 100 percent sure how to do everything so caleb took the time to help her out and um we just kind of guided her as you know campers do for each other we just help everybody out snake so campground that we're at i can't express enough how amazing this campground is i'll try to show you outside there's a gentleman with her and he works here and he is Mom, actually hold on a minute baby um is actually helping her hook up her rig and helping her like load everything up and just really walking her through where we couldn't do it because we're trying to load our own up right now he actually come by and he is helping her do everything like he's lifting up the jack he's lifting up um the um i can't think of the word i'm looking for but the automatic i think i don't know what it's called but anyway he's hooking it up to the truck and everything for her like this campground is over the top amazing so again if you want a tent camp if you want to bring your camper down and then here in the future they're gonna have glamping and um some other things to offer to people as well so go to www.hbrv.net and you can look up everything it is an amazing campground so um we're gonna get the dog out to go potty here in a second and um kind of stretch her legs as well get the kids out maybe run in place do something to burn some energy they are fully rested and wide open ready to go um so far the drive i think we are we're about we're only an hour and a half in and it's not been too bad but you know, it feels like the longest drive um anyways so on my instagram if you want to head on over and follow that it is called blended with love and adventure all together lowercase letters um i posted a picture of my hat camping here don't care um that is actually from amazon so if anybody goes camping and they had other hats as well that had different things on it um like mom hair don't care or whatever but anyway that's what we're doing right now i just wanted to kind of give you a heads up of where i got the hat but we are gonna get out real quick oh i thought my dog was about to spill the drink but we'll get out real quick we're gonna stretch our legs and we'll be back all right so now we're back in the truck we're heading out everybody got out and stretched their legs the dog got out for a walk um Buckle up before we Everybody hit the road. Went the Everybody went potty. <sighs> so now let's hit the road and get on back hit home. The road, Jack. Don't you come back. Um, Caleb singing for you there. But anyway, yeah. So the trip hasn't been too bad so far. The kids are just a little rambunctious. They're um. Crap. They're just. <laughs> What's wrong? I won't take his shirt off. 
Huh. Um, they just they, they get tired of sitting in the in the car, obviously. So, but that's okay. That's going to be with any kid at any age, probably until they get a little older and mature. Um. So, however, on the road again. Should play that song by Willie Nelson, right? On the road again. All right, guys, we'll check back in and let you know how it's going. Okay, everybody, we have officially made it back home. We've been home for a few hours. We have delivered the camper down to my sister's house, um, getting it set up, and um, we're done with all that. Now we're grabbing some dinner because um, I'm not cooking, and um, we budgeted for this. Budgeted? Budgeted. Budgeted for this, so that is what we're doing currently. Um, it's just gonna be kind of a fast food night. I know not the healthiest, but you know, this is in and our vacation, so we're gonna do it the right way. Um, my kids are over at their daddy's, um, his kids are at their mom's, so we kind of have the night to ourselves. We will have the dog, of course, but we're just gonna go home, I think, and have a low-key night, so yeah. So I wanna say real quick, thank you so much for coming along with us for this weekend at Holden Beach, North Carolina. And I hope everybody enjoyed. And I will have everything in the link below for everywhere that we went. Um, so if you are interested, you can look it up. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask me in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video. And thank you again for watching. Have a blessed week ahead.